the Rumours Music the Piano People. My name's Hannah and as usual I'm here at our amazing new piano showroom in Chester and I've just played for you this new in Yamaha CLP835 Clavinova Upright Digital Piano which has now replaced Yamaha's CLP735 and it feels so lovely to play. We've got synthetic ebony and ivory key tops here which feel quite matte um, and lovely under the fingers so you don't feel like you're sliding around the keys. We also have a Grand Touch S system, so Yamaha have altered the weight of the keys um, as well as the materials and some of the shapes in the working components in the keyboard um, to give the player the perception that they're playing a grand piano through the weight of the keys. And this idea is carried on to the pedals, so visually they look quite similar to a grand piano and they have quite the similar weight to a grand piano as, as well so when you're pressing the pedal down and releasing it again it's just giving the pianist the perception that they're playing a grand piano. Yamaha have carried on this idea when it comes to the CLP835 design so we have quite curved shoulders here as well as a very curved sliding lid. Overall though we do have a traditional cabinet with the front leg designs um, and we also have chrome fittings as a chrome logo and three chrome pedals. This piano comes in five finishes. This one is a black walnut, but it also comes in a white birch, a satin white, um, a polished ebony and a rosewood. To the right of the keyboard, we've got the on and off button as well as the volume control. And to the left of the keyboard, we have the control pad where we have the buttons and a small screen that will display any settings, features, um, and voices that the player is currently using. Now the CLP735 didn't have Bluetooth, but in the CLP835 we do now have a Bluetooth audio and a Bluetooth MIDI function, which I think was a much needed upgrade. So therefore you could use the Bluetooth MIDI function to play Spotify, for example, through the piano, or you can use the Bluetooth MIDI function, for example, to connect to the piano using um, a smart device. So um, an Apple or Android product, whether that's a smartphone, iPad or tablet, and you can use the Yamaha's Smart Pianist app, which will control the piano just like the control pad um, is doing now. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to be using this control pad on the left. So, when I first played for you the, pia um, the piano at the start of this video, I was using a CFX Grand Voice. So, as you turn the piano on, this is the defaulted voice, and the sample is taken from Yamaha's flagship concert grand piano, the CFX. It has a beautiful, bright sound. But if you maybe don't quite fancy that for the different styles of music you're playing, you can choose from any of the 38 built-in voices. So the second on the list is a Bosendorfer. Now this is a sample um, taken from Bosendorfer's equivalent, uh, Bosendorfer Imperial, which again is their flagship concert grand piano, worth over £100,000, but it's got a bit more of a warm and woolly sound, so I'll just demonstrate it for you now. things to make the sound so good. They use something called virtual resonance modelling which means that you can hear resonances um, such as string resonance, um, damp resonance, duplex scale resonance as well as resonance from what would be the rim or soundboard of the piano. To demonstrate this I'm just going to play a few notes in the top register and hopefully you can hear the resonances of the piano. you can hear that on the video it's really clever tool that they've used here they also use grand expression uh, expression modeling which is similar to an acoustic piano 
the faster and um, louder that you play the piano, the brighter and more powerful um, the sound becomes. So we've got a really wide range of um, expression when you're playing. I'll just go through some of the other voices though. So um, we have a quite a long list of pianos, but we've also got quite a few a few forte pianos. We've got a Mozart piano. As well as a Chopin piano. idea of the um, instruments that the composers were using when they um, composed their music. We haven't only got piano voices in here though, we've got different instruments as well. We've got uh, electric pianos for example. Um, we've also got different types of organs, so I'll pop this onto an organ tutti setting. Big list there as well. There's different types of string voices. As well as different basses um, and other instruments in here such as harpsichords, vibraphones, choirs. So there's lots to choose from and I'm sure they would fit numerous styles of music. Um, that we've also got some, um, we've also got a built-in recorder and built-in metronome um, as usual but we also have built-in rhythms and um, we've got 20 in total so I'll just demonstrate that for you now. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to select a um, electric piano voice and then as I press this rhythm you're going to hear that it, it automatically has a small intro. I can now change the tempo rhythm if I want so we can slow it down but for the sake of this video I want to slow this back up to demonstrate this to you and if I play a note here you can hear that it brings in a bass So we've got loads of features in there including built-in demo songs and um, lesson songs as well which you can use with the with the app um, for to get the sheet music. Unfortunately I haven't got that today. So the Yamaha CLP835 Clavinova Digital Piano is on display at the Chester Showroom. As always if you're watching from YouTube and you'd like some in extra information about the piano please click the link in the description below um, to see the piano on our website. It's a fabulous piano that's going to suit your needs, it doesn't matter whether you're, you're just starting out on your musical journey or you're going through some grades or maybe you're a hobbyist this digital piano is for you thank you so much for watching and bye for now